Jesus, I want to meet in that city. You want to stand together and say, Jesus, I want to be there in that city. Yes. There is nothing worth missing that city for. You know, I've been so thrilled as I've seen the way God worked in these meetings. The Lord has done some incredibly amazing things. Jesus has touched hearts. There are between some place between 40 and 50 people now that have either raised their hand, they've come forward, they've, or they've already been baptized or rebaptized. It's so incredible what God is doing here. Because men and women, boys and girls, are getting really serious about their salvation. Yes. And they're saying, Lord, I just don't want to miss I don't want to miss heaven. I want to take that step with you. I'm going to pray. and I want to pray for somebody that's thinking about that decision for baptism. You're thinking about it. Or maybe you've made it. And you just want to say, I need that little extra strength to follow through on that decision. Or maybe you're thinking about rebaptism. You've been through the water once, but maybe you drifted away. Or maybe you haven't been part of a Sabbath-keeping Adventist church and God is leading you to that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're saying, I really believe I've heard truth in these meetings and I want to be part of this family. If you're thinking about a decision for baptism or rebaptism, or you're thinking about a decision, the Holy Spirit's really working in your heart and you're thinking about, you know what? I'm really thinking seriously about becoming part of this, this Adventist family. Mm -hmm. I've heard the truth and I just can't turn away from it. I want to pray for you. Would you just raise your hand? Amen. Just raise your hand. God bless you. So many hands. So many hands all over. God bless you. God bless you. Let's pray together. Oh my Jesus, how thankful we are to these many who are raising their hands. They have that sense of your love, your grace, and Lord, I know that as they come to continue Bible classes, as they continue to study your word, that there'll be more baptisms in May, more in June. And Father, we want one thing, and that is to be saved in your kingdom and to live with you forever. And we long that this is not our last meeting, but we long to meet again soon. In Christ's name, amen. Be seated, please. You know, my wife and I, have just been so absolutely thrilled to be here with you. And you know, we're going to continue classes in varying areas next week. We are traveling on, but we'll be back for more classes in the area, Tini, and share with us some of the things. Well, I just want to wish all of you God's richest blessings. It's been a privilege to be here with all of you. And <clears throat> yes, we would like to have you pray for us as we leave for Africa. We're going to be going to Tanzania in Africa, and we will be there for about a month. And we understand from the last reports that we have just gotten that there will be anywhere between 30 and 40,000 people attending those meetings. Hallelujah. And so, so, uh, so we're going to need your prayers. And uh, so pray for us. It's a, it's a heavy area of malaria and so um, we are praying for God's extra blessing to keep us all well and so we thank you that you'll be praying for us and so you know when we come to the end of our meetings in different places we always say we're just we've just gotten acquainted with you and we have to leave when we go to Africa then in a month we'll have to leave and leave them behind and won't see them probably again on this side of heaven, but we'll see each other in eternity, I'm sure. But here, we have a, a whole center over in Haymarket, and we're gonna be having many programs at our school. So many of you have asked about our health programs and cooking schools, and we're gonna be doing that. So we'll keep you posted as to, by email and other ways, to, and brochures, to let you know when we're having some of our programs. So God bless each of you, and I know that we're gonna end on a high note, Mark, uh, of that battle hymn of the Republic. You know, the first song that was sung was God's Truth is Marching On. And when we finish this series of meetings, like we are right now, we can have the assurance that God's truth is gonna march on. Let's sing it. <laughs> 